Hey guys, Coach Kelly here with a car chat of the day. Today I want to talk to you about something that is kind of near and dear to my heart because I've struggled with it in the past and I probably will in the future. And that is the issue of fear. The issue of fear. Now, sometimes when we talk, we think about fear, we think we talk about um, being, you know, overcoming our fears or conquering our fears. They're really strong words. Um, you know, stepping out against all fear, fighting fear, you know, and there's a reason that that these metaphors are so strong um, is because fear is very powerful. It's a very powerful motivator in life and it's also a very um, powerful paralytic, something that paralyzes us, that just stops us in our tracks because, um, yeah, paralyzed by fear, there you go, that's actually a metaphor that we use as well. Because fear can be so debilitating and it's interesting. Biblically speaking, the the, um, the source of fear is, is not uh, a proper belief. It's not placing our belief in the right thing, the right person, um, in, namely God, but also, and then because of that fear, because of that lack of belief or that wrong belief, not stepping out and, and active, being active and, and active in faith, stepping out to do something. That is what's so heinous about fear is that it paralyzes us from doing things that we should be doing, we want to be doing. Okay, so, um, you know, interestingly, the opposite of fear then really isn't just believing better and believing. It's actually doing something in the midst of fear. It's actually acting in the face of fear. Okay, again, more metaphors are just flying, right? Because there's so much that we, have, there's so much to unpack there. So much we talk about with when, in regard to fear in our lives. Okay, so today I want to talk about that a little bit in light of our fitness and our business. You've got to step out in faith. You cannot let fear debilitate you. If you have plans, you have a vision, you have ideas of what you want to do, and you have a plan for that, you just got to step out and do it, guys. Even if you're fearful, even if you screw up six times today, you got to step out that seventh time and do something. Even and Maybe that's tomorrow. Maybe, you know, it's going to be a really crappy day. Probably not because we're, you're watching this video and you know that there's, you know, uh, there's some, there's an antidote to this fear and it's action, it's activity. Stepping out to do something. Fear grows. It looms larger and larger and larger in our lives as we do nothing. As we sit there and cower and let it overpower us, okay? So if you're fearful, and some of you it's doubt. You're like, again, you're not this quivering little fearful person. You doubt things intellectually and you can wrap your brain around that over and over and over again and make it sound so intellectual and so smart and so all these reasons why you shouldn't do stuff. But in the end, it's the same thing. You're not doing, actively doing the things that you want to do, that you should do, that you need to do. So step out and do something today that's hard for your business. Step out and do something that's hard in your for your fitness. Okay, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.